My name is Debbie Han. I'm an artist. My family originally came from Korea, and they immigrated to Los Angeles when I was little. I was driven to become an artist because of how I felt when I was painting as a child. It's like the whole world will disappear, and a more immense, more beautiful world will open up. Uh, my name's Howard Bilton. I am the founder and chairman of the Sovereign Art Foundation and the chairman of Sovereign Trust, which funds the Art Foundation. We invited Debbie on this trip uh, because A, she's a winner of the Sovereign Art Prize and has direct experience of the way in which winning that prize changed her life. And secondly, we recognize in her a certain empathy and we think she will react very well with the children. This is my very first time visiting Cambodia. I knew that the Sovereign Foundation was doing a lot of good program for the different societies in Asia, so I was very curious as to you know, what kind of works they do in Cambodia and wanted to be part of it or experience it. Blok Tepang is working with street children. They are from very poor family. Some of these children are forced to work on the street to earn the money for the family when the family are very, in a very difficult situation. In the community, they encounter a lot of issues such as domestic violence, all kinds, all forms of abuse. You know, we have some children that are uh, sexually abused, physically abused. So, uh, Mulok Tepang believes that art is really helping uh, with this, for these children. It helps to attract the children to come to the center, to get them off the streets to help them enjoy, but also to help them building confidence and, and solve their talents. Hi everyone, my name is Debbie. Um, I'm an artist and I'm very happy to be here to have this workshop with you. So today we're going to paint anything you want with yourself, your dream. I had a painting session with a, a group of children and uh, I asked the children to draw uh, their dreams, what they would like to be when they grow up and then we got to share uh, with the class. A girl wanted to be a lawyer, another um, girl wanted to just have a house uh, where she could live with her family, relatives and uh, so the, you know, their painting showed me that they were very normal, healthy, happy children, not different from the children you'd find in any other countries. What we hope to achieve through the foundation, and I think we can see evidence of going some way towards this at least, and, and maybe better than that, is to give artists a big career boost and at the same time raise money for charity. And what struck me as I was walking around was um, I was looking at this and thinking, you know what? My sunglasses cost about the same as it is to send a kid through this school. Amazing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, it puts it in perspective, doesn't it? The art project taking place in Lop uh, we have drawings and painting, we have uh, art therapy, theatre, music, and also traditional dancing. Art therapy is a uh, a way that we can work with the children so that they can express of their feeling. You know, sometimes it's difficult to speak out when you have a lot of problem in your life. But with art, you can get them express and get them speak out of the problem. And when they speak out, that's when they can start accepting, they can uh, start curing, they can start getting better of the problem. And then at this stage, they gain the self-esteem and confidence to go back to a normal life like other children. By visiting Sidikia's house, I will be seeing um, her real life after school, where she really is growing up and living at, whereas the center was uh, established through uh, the help of many sponsors. So I'm going to sort of witness um, her real life outside of the center. Yeah. Nice meeting you. I am Debbie. Yeah. Debbie. 
If I wasn't pointed out that these, those were houses I would never have known, you know, <laughs> there were basically a bunch of uh, shacks lined up very close to one another, and there was like a, a railroad track uh, right very close to the houses. It was just really shabby looking, I mean, compared to uh, what I have seen in different parts of the world. She draws very well. Um, I've seen her drawings, and she's, you know, very good. <laughs> yeah. So Kia's mother uh, told me that she was working as a um, bottle picker, like, you know, picking up empty bottles and uh, selling them. But the entire day's uh, worth of labor will come out to be about a dollar per day. And, uh, and then she hurt her knee, so she couldn't work anymore. So now she's just, um, you know, raising three children. And the father is a basic construction worker, a handyman who would do anything. So um, my heart just went out to them, you know. When I came down here, I was expecting to see some poverty, but I, I found the level of it really quite shocking. This is, I have nothing. Um, one set of clothes, dirty. Um, nothing, no toys, no anything. No, nothing that we would take for granted. So it was really quite shocking that not far away from Hong Kong, where everybody is, to be frank, living in luxury, we have these conditions and people forced to live in them with very little hope of getting out of this cycle of poverty. And with these children, um, you know, some of them are so talented. A lot of them have immense potentials to be, you know, to become somebody. Yet their environments, their social benefits aren't that much to allow that. And, and, and at Milap Tapang, I saw the possibility of what, uh, you know, a little push or little guidance or facilities could do miracles to, for these children. So all you artists out there, get entering this prize. We get you a very good price and a lot of publicity and you help to generate funds for what is an extraordinarily important cause. And all you supporters out there, get bidding on this art. When it's on your wall in years to come, think how many children you helped by buying that piece of art.